when the Apollo program was coming to an end, von Braun was running through the halls of Congress trying to convince congressmen that the next project after the Apollo program should be sending humans to Mars. Unlike many other proposals he had made in the past, that proposal actually ended up on the desk of President Richard M. Nixon. Now, a lot of people don't understand this, but the president is not only the commander-in-chief, he's the commander-in-chief of NASA. Um, NASA is actually an administrative function in our government and it reports directly to the President of the United States. So in the early 70s, Nixon had two proposals sitting on his desk. One was, let's send somebody to Mars. The competing proposal was um, the space shuttle. Now, the space shuttle originally was a very cool concept. It is exactly what Elon Musk is trying to do with rockets right now by making them reusable. And it was a relatively small space plane that could shuttle astronauts into Earth orbit and then where you would have the capability of building a larger rocket that could go on to places like Mars. Unfortunately, the military and the uh, intelligence agencies in the United States became very interested in the space shuttle and, and a conflict developed. Um, Nixon chose the space shuttle over going to Mars, over von, Von's program. And shortly thereafter, von Braun resigned from NASA. Um, and not long after that, he died. Had Nixon chosen in the early 70s to go to Mars instead of uh, building the space shuttle, we would have a colony on Mars now. And there would probably be thousands of people there. The tragedy of the space shuttle was that it was really kind of designed for the military industrial complex rather than what NASA really had in mind originally, which, which was a cheap, small, reusable rocket. The joke is that there were 11 secret missions that we know of between 1982 and 1992 in which used the space shuttle for military and intelligence purposes. We have no real idea what those were. They were classified, but we do know that they existed and that those uh, rockets were launched and used for that purpose. Here is a government agency that from day one was supposed to be completely open and transparent because we did not want other countries thinking that we looked like explorers of space and we looked like people who were only interested in intellectual curiosity and finding out more about our environment, when in fact, at the same time, we were doing military things. So for the last five decades, from 1970 at least, um, the space program has been stunted and has, has gone absolutely nowhere. And that's why we have people like SpaceX who are gonna be the first to, go to land on Mars, because they've created this huge hole of low-cost entry into space. And governments are now losing control of space that they've had as a monopoly. And private companies are finding it quite easy to do things faster, better, and cheaper than NASA or the military can do them. And they're gonna get into long-term space first. <laughs>